Tonight, Dr. Karen Shelton, director for the Mount Rogers Health District, is sounding the alarm. When you double your cases, you can't provide the same level of thorough case investigation and contact tracing. Hospitalization in the region that includes places like Carroll County, Galax, Bland County, and even Bristol is expected to surge by the end of December, Shelton says. Elective surgeries are soon to end. Schools now being advised to go virtual. Case rise in November, even before the holiday, admittedly catching them by surprise. We've been generally running 80 to 100 to 120 cases per day. And Thursday, we had 242 cases. And today we're up close to 200 as well. The final details for um, how the general public will access the vaccine um, are, are um, not um, finalized. Um, the Dr. Vanessa Walker-Harris, Deputy Secretary of Health and Human Services here in Virginia, speaking briefly Friday on the Calvary around the corner vaccines. Well, their approach to vaccine allocation has an equity lens and um, they're keeping in mind the concerns that you've raised and how um, they're developing their allocation strategies. New information just into our newsroom from VDH says 480,000 doses from Pfizer and Moderna will begin arriving to the Commonwealth by the end of the month. They will go to healthcare professionals and long-term care residents. However, VDH says we need 500,000. Meanwhile, as the fight continues, the CDC updates its quarantine guidelines. They know that it has been very difficult for people to adequately keep a 14-day quarantine. Dr. Shelton says 14 days is still best. However, special circumstances for those with no symptoms at 7 or 10 days of quarantine may be introduced. The CDC today also advising universal mask wearing indoors at all times, except in the comfort of your own home. For the holiday season, it's the safest option is to stay at home. Reporting on McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.